Hi traders, it's Z with eminiwizard.com and marketwizards.com. Just doing a midday update. Uh, Lou Bowman had asked a couple questions, so doing this one for him. Uh, and I respect Anthony very much. Anthony Crudelli is a friend of mine and <clears throat> one of the sharpest technicians out there. Uh, if you guys aren't following him, you're nuts. Uh, Hamzy Analytics, another one. Ferry is uh, one of the best technicians I've seen, but more than that, he's got a great business mind. These are these are two of my favorites that I follow all the time, and I want to know what they're thinking. And you should too, if you're serious about this business. This is a 30-minute chart. Yesterday's high is in lows. I want to look back and be able to see at least three days. And that's key number one. You can't just look at one day in isolation. So I want to drill back. You can easily see that 1775 that I called as a big support. You could see, you know, some divergence here, obviously. You see a, a dump and, and a big volume bar tells you that boys were coming in here at that double. And uh, that turned out to be a, a great buy signal for anybody that took it. Um, and then obviously a little bit of rotation back, but we held that 32 that I had suggested. You look back over here, here's that 31 and a quarter. I said, I, I want to make sure we hold that. If we do, then we could, <clears throat> if we take out the high, then we can go. And once we start to rip and get above these, you know, this line right here, then anything's fair game. And that's why I call that even 60 target. That was a stretch in my imagination, uh, yesterday, but I thought it was possible to get there. <clears throat> so I think we've used use some of today's uh, energy already in these last two days and that's why I wasn't gung-ho but I have identified a 64 target that <clears throat> 64 and a half the boys would like to get to um, today it's much more neutral after that a first thrust by the pivot at uh, 50 area 49.75 and, and that was bought and obviously got a little uh, <clears throat> take out of the overnight high but still respecting yesterday's high so basis this chart this 52 is an important area the blue line if we're above the slope of the blue line then it's still positive but you can see it's starting to flatten out a bit uh, and then I want to see the rain line hold, and that's that 47, 48 area that I think is important for the, you know, bulls to hold. If not, then they risk coming back to test 45s to even that this S1. Um, and, and this, in my opinion, would be a, a a payday for anybody short if you ever got back here. I'm not sure the the uh, bears can do that just yet, but that would be a natural target also right there. And basis this frame, uh, which, which I felt would be first support, it's got a hold. And then if it can get above the next tie back in here, then okay. But if not, it's still range trading. There's, there's a little double in here. You can see that where that's held at 48. That opens the door, in my opinion, to come backwards. And this is that 45 area that I talked about that uh, that's a must hold for. And that would be a three box move uh, for the shorts and then 10 to have some profit taking come in. So right now it's pretty neutral in in my opinion. Anybody short, uh, I definitely advise making sure you paid into 52s. It could be more. You leave chips on the table, but that's what I'm seeing right now there. And here's a, another one-minute chart. Uh, you try to analyze, I do anyways, using the same ideas. Here's a one-minute chart um, that I'm looking at. And if we got back into this 55, that was our first objective to get there as a long. And then if you could take that out, you had a little more room to the upside. On, on a pullback, you can see where this was a shakeout in here and come right back down a mirror bar actually to, to this thrust up. So fairly neutral right now in the way I'm looking at it. And obviously, uh, step by step, we're looking at uh, today's range. Uh, probably the uh, most important idea uh, currently is this uh, zone right in. In here this 52 to call it 51 you know should hold if it doesn't then obviously we open the door to retest the lows and looking at this chart uh, another uh, OTF we're looking at the pipe here this this line I've drawn here that's that 64 and a half target uh, that the bulls would like to get to uh, this was a long bar coming down we've had a good sharp bounce couple of days and you can see the pipe we're still holding the pipe right now um, 
and this area that we had suggested yesterday, that 59 and a half, 59.75, still, th this area is an important zone that needs to crack to allow the door to come up to the next level. Till that really happens and, and can hold up there, you're still subject to trading inside this box. If we break this box, then obviously we open a door to come backwards, basis this time frame. And one of the things that I believe in is, is a routine. That's something that Ferry talked about yesterday in, in his program, a uh, wonderful webinar that uh, he ran and uh, with our Mark Esposito, uh, just an outstanding job talking about things like uh, routine and <clears throat> the important factors that a trader that, that really wants to be serious uh, needs to understand, and especially about proportions and stop losses and and uh, spreads and, and how big a, a stop loss you need. So some really good advice there for new and old traders. Ch check them out. Um, this time frame, uh, this was already preordained. This was preset. This is at 15, um, I'm sorry, at uh, 1775. I, I already know what I'm looking for ahead of time, and, and this took off like a rocket. So your first objective is the green line, and then the next objective is back in here at, at that red line. And that's why I called yesterday the resistance right here. I thought that was a good stopping point for two-day thrust. So, so this box is still in play basis this time frame. Uh, and then this would be the next box. So for now, this is, I'm considering as our resistance target <clears throat> that the longs are trying to get back to. This was a double that broke, and they would like to get back up here and retest that zone. <clears throat> so that's the purpose of understanding how we can look at different time frames, use the same analysis, but look at it in different sizes. Uh, this is one of the most important lessons I can share with anybody who wants to become uh, a better trader. Hope that helps. Let me show you another chart or two. Uh, we've got a little quiet time right here. Um, <clears throat> this type of chart I like to look at just to see if I can see formations. And, and you can see how if you draw a line through here, you've got a nice formation. This is like a head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders. And then when we held back here in this line, boom, took off. And you can see that we really do need, uh, I like Anthony's call to come back and do a retrace because you, you can see how fast this move has been in, in the double move. Uh, so so this area is crying out, get retested. The question is when. Um, and, and so I'm considering this area as a big support area that needs to hold. If not, then obviously we come back and it could come all the way back through. But for now, I think we're, we're probably holding and <clears throat> this morning I expected some consolidation and then maybe this afternoon get a little more movement um, just trying to digest this big move from yesterday uh, but there's a very important chart to me because once we break through here then theoretically and there's not a lot of support built up in a fast move so it'll be more fibos people will be looking at and uh, depends on how hard and what type of news would come out to make it move that way anyways. So I always try to look at a chart like this without moving averages. A little bit easier to see just the, the potential of uh, supports and resistance. And then one last chart to, to look at. And again, I, I already have my ideas in my head by looking at all those other charts, but I want to look at one without a lot of stuff on it. Uh, I think uh, I look at traders' charts, and it reminds me of <clears throat> what I really did to myself as a, uh, you know, when I first started out. And, and even to this day, still too much stuff on some of them. But I've learned to spread them out on different charts. It's easier for me to see, and, and I'm sure for a beginner, much easier to see one thing at a time instead of throwing 20 different indicators all on the same chart so so the purity of this I, I can look at this and I can see the size of bars pretty easily go back and count how many days we've been in a range <clears throat> we can see that we've made a higher high than this so this the concept here has been all right we came back about eight days and now we're bouncing this is the third day of a bounce uh, up here is again where the longs are trying to get to. The shorts will definitely try to defend that. 
um, up through that 70 zone, certainly. So a natural pullback in here to, to test this breakout. Um, still probably will get bought by the boys. And if not, then that's what stops are made for. <clears throat> so these are the type of charts that I use. Uh, and we all have our own system, but uh, I do a lot of math. And, and so that helps me to pick out some of these potential targets. But I, I want to see it on a chart. I want to see the visual right here, for example. This tells me when we get a strong thrust and then we take out the high. Okay, I guess it's trying to get to <clears throat> challenge this 50 zone, plus or minus. They take that out, then obviously the next high is fair game. Uh, and today was, in my opinion, is a retest of this breakout, this top here and this top <clears throat> comes back and tests and trying to hold that. That's why I, I like that 52 area to be a bias line today. And above it, we're still trying to come up here and below it, then we're trying to come back the other way. All right, hope that helps. Uh, that's about as simple a look as I can give you without getting into uh, too many details. I hope that helps.